uh, and it's going to be a presentation from uh, BASF Poland about uh, the sustainable solutions uh, and the sustainable packaging case study. Uh, so uh, I invite uh, Agata Krushet uh, to, to the presentation and the floor is yours. Uh, thank you very much. I hope you can hear me. This is the first question in every website event we are participating uh, since uh, half a year. Uh, thank you for inviting me and having me here. I'm really honored to present a case study. I'm really involved this year. I'm managing this project by myself. Uh, my name is Agata Krushec. I'm representing today Market Development BSF Polska, but also Sustainability Community on uh, EMEA level. So Europe, Middle East and Africa and my activities are related to uh, Poland in this area. So both legs are there. Um, I'm representing BASF company, huge global uh, chemical player, uh, which uh, is also uh, present in uh, plastics industry for many, many years. A lot of innovations have been developed uh, by our company. And today I would like to present to you the case study based on Ecovio. Ecovio, I will say a few words about this uh, in next slides. Mm, uh, this is sustainable packaging solution. And that's why I've decided to uh, present it today uh, to uh, you. Uh, from business perspectives and how do we see this area business-wise? Uh, I, I I was thinking really uh, long how to start this topic from business perspective and what uh, popped up in my mind is that uh, first challenge we face as a as a introductor of the innovation on the market is uh, nowadays this uh, terminological uh, mix and chaos related to what is bio-based and what is biodegradable and just to clarify this question this uh, from this very beginning and this is the one uh, with what we always begin our story is what is biodegradable what is not biodegradable and huge activities are, co are connected to clarifying this uh, uh, situation to the market basically because we talk about with about this with whole value chain and what i will talk about is today is uh, ecovio ecoflex this is uh, partially biodegradable and uh, par fully biodegradable i'm sorry but partially based on fossil materials based uh, partially on renewable so bio-based content is there however fossil base is also there uh, of course on the landscape of uh, possible uh, solutions we also have fully biodegradable um, based on and bio-based materials like cellulose bhp and pella Mm, but this is not the story for today. This is the starting point. And if we continue, what we launched, uh, this is already 10 years ago when we launched this innovation on the market. We are owner the patent and uh, uh, owner the technology. Mm, uh, this is uh, biodegradable granulate plastics and called Ecovio. This is what this person here holds in hands is a uh, whitish and uh, and uh, and uh, fully biodegradable and uh, no magic additives this is always what we up, uh, what is in the story we present to the market is naturally biodegradable and compostable so nothing is added this is something what is uh, related to, to 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 the structure of of the of the plastics I'm uh, talking about. I already said partially based on renewable sources, bio-based, this is polylactate, polylactide, PLA, uh, and the second uh, compound is PBAT, it means polybutylene adipate terephthalate. Uh, and this is mainly fossil, however, it can be also bio-based as well uh, nowadays. Uh, what we are doing, uh, we once when we started to launch this product on the market, uh, it was very important that it uh, fulfills all norms of biodegradability and compostability on the market we are present on. Uh, and in Europe, we are cooperating with two certification bodies, Vincot and Incerto. However, uh, we tested 
uh, the granulate uh, all around the world, all around the world, uh, according to norms existing in specific continents, countries, and uh, this is already uh, here. And what was basically the concept and thesis when we started to deal uh, with this uh, with this um, product, and when we started to conceptualize the applications uh, related to uh, this biodegradable polymer, how to launch this on the market, where to launch it. We started to construct the ecosystem and for constructing the ecosystem, three basically theses were uh, quite important for us. First of all, promoting nutrition circle by supporting easier collection of organic waste. Because this is what is huge advantage of this solution is we have uh, at the very beginning of the live product, we have granulate and at the very end we have compost. So this is is something what we wanted to uh, circulate. Um, the second uh, thing was for us very important to prevent uh, the creation of microplastics from misthrown plastic waste in organic recycling or in agricultural applications. So no plastic, no microplastic when where it's uh, difficult to uh, to deal it with. And the third very important thesis uh, was for us. Uh, to create such applications for as replacement for uh, those products where uh, mm, there is no effective mechanical recycling. And uh, this was something what should have been complementary to existing technology. So three theses at the very beginning uh, were with us and we started to think about uh, uh, launching and uh, uh, together with our business partners to start um, thinking about the applications, about the value chains, about the ecosystems where biodegradable plastics can be used. And uh, the main thesis is here that uh, uh, basically in current days when we rethink the plastics and we also talk about two uh, plastic circles, this is one is biological and the second one is technical uh, one, Mm, what we focus on is this biological circle, as I mentioned before. So we have producer of food and end users or consumer, bio waste collection from which we can, uh, one on the one hand, uh, 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 get biogas from biogas station and from compost installation we can get some compost and regenerate and use it on the agriculture area and then uh, grow the plant from which we again uh, start the circle again and again so the basic is here to uh recycle and turn to the to the to, turn to the this circle this valuable atoms such uh, carbon such uh, phosphor and so on so this was the idea and uh, this is close to our concepts and close to uh, and and to this uh, concept is also based on uh, papers we are also active in and this is related to Ellen MacArthur Foundation as well where we are also active with EcoBio projects as well so we are working globally and also uh, locally but what does it mean for us biological circle and where we found the right applications for biodegradable plastics so basically this is very rough and very simplified uh, circle we are talking about so we have the agricultural input and outputs we distribute and consumption we uh, generate the waste and we collect it, product the compost, but also have some uh, compost for soil and from soil, again, agricultural outputs. And this is the circle uh, where we are active in three areas, basically. Uh, we are developing uh, applications with our partners with whole value chain because these are not our customers but also this is quite extended action for us and long-term um, activities eco packaging also bags for organic waste bags and uh, fruit and vegetable bags so double use bags and also biodegradable mulch film and this is the all in all those three sectors we are already active on polish market but also globally first the globally and then polish market is also there what i would what i would like to focus on today is this part related to packaging 
Uh, and uh, before I start, only more to, with my case studies and best practices, I would like to say a few words how, again, we talked to value chain about the conceptualization of the possible applications. If we, if we see here this slide, we did some research jointly with, our, with the value chain we are cooperating with. Um, research on items which can be found on compost and uh, we uh, gradated it into the direction of mechanical recycling. As I previously mentioned, this solution should be complementary to mechanical recycling and uh, used only there where mechanical recycling is not effective. And basically, based on our research, we found out that the most uh, frequent uh, items in, uh, found in compost are, for instance, single-use bags like tea bags and coffee filters. This is something what is always mixed with uh, the food uh, carried in. Cling film, quite important thing, but also coffee capsules. And uh, this is something what directed us to, uh, to, to development of applications in this area. Of course, we have many, many others, but for those, we have other recycling types uh, in proposal. Huge part with mechanical recycling, this is already existing, and BASF is active here in area of uh, supporting mechanical recycling in a case of additives enabling uh, and, and, uh, and doing it more and more efficient. Of course, there is a chemical recycling uh, here on the table, but it's not the topic for, for today. What I wanted to focus here is this green area, and this was the starting point to, for building also and establishing value chains and ecosystem for ECOVIO packaging applications as well. We did also other researchers, so we are quite good prepared for, for um, discussion with value chain. Uh, and we, before we started, uh, we collected the arguments and we really made the structure and really deeply thought about, uh, uh, about the solutions we can propose, what is uh, reasonable, makes sense, is quite logic. We thought about the value proposition to the end life options and combination with other materials. Because uh, EcoVio is not only a solution which can be used as single use, single material things, because uh, this is the, the most, uh, the, the easiest way to, introduction, to, to introduce. However, the second thing is, uh, to introduce EcoVio uh, in applications uh, where it enables other uh, materials to be uh, recycled in this biological circle. And that's in this way we came to the two other applications. And this is uh, one, the first one is coated paper and coated board uh, with biodegradable uh, solution. These are cups and other solutions which can be used and why. I will tell a um, few words a little bit later. And the latest uh, applications we develop jointly with partners is multi-layer flexible packaging so with uh, proper uh, barrier properties so this is quite advanced and, and this is also already available and how we uh, and how we basically uh, work uh, with uh, those applications First of all, we think about the value chain. We think about the, our partners, but also partners for our partners and what is happening at the end of life of such products. So we talk about the solution, specific solution with whole value chain involved in closing uh, the loop. And this was also the case of uh, the Ecovio paper and board coating. So this biodegradable, uh, coating for uh, paper. Why we decided this? I already uh, this, uh, told the story about the construction of the value chain and how we got into this idea. But uh, 
uh, in the meantime, jointly with partners, I uh, do not mention here some companies on purpose because this is something that is happening globally, but we have many, many projects happening locally. Also in Poland, we established the value chain. So uh, basically, we talk to the producer of the paper and the company who is coating the paper and the company who is producing, which is producing the caps and other, uh, other applications from this solution um, uh, from the coated paper already. So this is like uh, three stages value chain, quite advanced uh, co connecting the dots. And this is what we do as uh, uh, market uh, development in BSF podcast where we are supporting this project. And uh, in while developing many different areas, we managed to achieve really good key technical benefits. So, I mean, here, uh, good barrier properties, again, fats, liquids, and others. This is what is required here. And this is also suitable for food contact. And uh, what is worth of mentioning, because uh, uh, we uh, basically focus on food packaging. Every uh, application has food contact has food contact certificate, so this is this is the basic uh, standard we we talk about here. And uh, which applications we developed all over the world, but also in Poland, are already mentioned: cups for cold and hot content. This is something what is quite important. They are uh, lasting significantly longer than uh, standard uh, solutions as well. Uh, bowls, plates uh, for solid, fluid, and fatty content. So this is something what is developed and what does exist. And why we decided uh, to go for such applications is uh, uh, the challenge, basically, uh, the one company came to us with. And uh, it was uh, it was related to selective organic uh, waste collection already, and apparently there was a challenge to uh, collect the waste selectively on huge events like marathons, like festivals, uh, related to food, and they they had really a huge challenge to uh, separate paper cups from the food and plates from the food, everything was landing in uh, one uh, in one place, in one bag. And that's why they came to us with simple, uh, simple question, how to uh, make it happen so that they can not, that there's not, it's not necessary anymore to separate it by hand. And this is, this was very complicated. And this was the answer for the solution. And this, started uh, with this uh, nice story of uh, marathon, so health is also there. Uh, what is other sustainability benefit is that uh, this uh, solution is certified according to this uh, uh, industrial composting norm. So this is very uh, no, very well known to, to to entities who are involved in in uh, uh, norming and in uh, composting aspects as well. Mm, what is very important, it enables use of recycled paper, paper in food applications. This is quite important as well because we are lowering in this case uh, uh, the content of the virgin paper. Let's say let's let's form it like that. And in all those uh, activities, we are significantly reducing the material car carbon footprint, which is also important for us and for um, the value chain, who is thinking about such solutions, so quite advanced and major uh, approach to the sustainability. And we are saving the greenhouse emissions and, uh, yeah, in this way, uh, combat the climate changes as well. So this is a little bit of theory and maybe about the applications we uh, we have. I will, okay, here like that. Uh, CAPS is only uh, one solution. What you can see here, it's like the the the, the um, examples of the of the solutions we developed with our partners. So you have the packaging for sandwich, packaging for salad, packaging for sugar, packaging for for all those things where uh, it's related to food, and then you can wait, then you can uh, put it through it to the uh, bio waste uh, bag. And this is quite important uh, solution, I would say here. Uh, but 
I wanted to say something also here about our BASF Polska activities and one project we are really proud of uh, because we are introducing such solutions not only on the market with our customers, with, with the customers of our customers, so within the value chain, but uh, by ourselves we introduced this solution in our catalyst plan in Środa Śląska in uh, Lower Silesia district in Poland. This is why this is the biggest catalyst uh, automotive catalyst plant in Europe, the most modern one as well. Uh, and uh, what was the challenge there? There was like roughly 800 people working there already, and they have huge canteen, and in the canteen they used uh, single-use caps, and or uh, and it was really quite a lot of uh, waste daily because uh, it was really single use and it was like uh, not not effective in not environmental friendly uh, in a certain way because they they they, they consumed it, uh, a lot of the cups uh, every day uh, and what we introduced we basically introduced the ecovio cups uh, produced by polish company we did some campaign as well uh, about uh, the solution about where to put it uh, uh, when it's used already and uh, this was whole campaign for people working in the catalyst plant we also organized the uh, composting machineries small ones you can see them on the slide on the second picture here it was several of them were there and basically we were producing the compost and the compost was then uh, in spring though it was used uh, to um, grow the plants on the green fields around the around the around the the, the um, plant basically so uh, in this way we kind of closed the loop because we switched to the more sustainable and the solution and which has a lower carbon footprint. We educated people on organic waste bags. We had the uh, composting machinery and then we have also compost which was uh, used in the plant as well. And now we have this really beautiful um, bee Mm, bees friendly uh, plants around the around the catalyst plant so this is what we did and this is what is also part of our so uh, social responsibility activities as well in terms of coating paper with ecovio uh, solutions i would like to i have uh, Oh, I have five minutes more and two examples to, to show. Uh, two more examples in the area of uh, uh, in area of uh, um, sustainable packaging based on biodegradable plastics uh, are not related to paper coated. However, I wanted to mention them because the story is really uh, really nice and really uh, necessary and shows the construct of our approach to developing new uh, projects. Uh, coffee capsules. This is something what uh, was really challenging and as you saw on the slide before, this is something what is uh, very often found in compost and uh, from the uh, from the recycling perspective, uh, from from the recycler perspective, the recycling is not effective of uh, of the coffee capsule because there is a a lot of uh, there is aluminium or this is polymer and it can be uh, it's it's quite difficult to recycle it and there are no significant uh, economical advantages of recycle of recycling. Uh, of course. Uh, uh, there are some projects where companies uh, producing ca uh, capsules are collecting them by themselves and they are recycling the uh, aluminium or the plastics or rather I heard about the aluminium. However, we, we 
um, seven years ago, basically, we faced, we had a meeting with a Swiss coffee company, it's called Binarella, and they came with the challenge that they want to switch to more sustainable solution because the, in, in Switzerland, this uh, organic waste collection is quite advanced and uh, they wanted to be sure that their product can be uh, recycled in proper way. So they wanted some uh, compostable solution. And jointly, it was the pilot project. Now we have many other uh, coffee producers on board as well uh, in uh, those last years. And uh, what is important here, the key benefit is like uh, it's fully compostable according to uh, this uh, industrial compost uh, compostability norm. And it can be composting along, uh, composted along the uh, with the coffee grounds. So we have here the case of more resource efficiency. In this case, we reduce, we reduce the greenhouse gases emission and uh, uh, we have the higher content of renewable raw materials. And uh, in this way, we reduce the carbon footprint. So in creation of all those uh, uh, applications, this sustainability aspect and sustainability benefits are very important for a uh, whole value chain existing uh, in uh, managing these applications because we did uh, the discussion not only with Binarella uh, but also with the uh, Swiss recycle companies with, uh, uh, with uh, composting uh, compost plants and so on so this is quite quite advanced and approach is always uh, connected to uh, to uh, whole value chain and whole ecosystem built for for this application and last but not least the new member of our fam uh, in our family uh, of solutions for packaging industry is uh, clean film I'm really huge fan of this uh, of this application because this is something what uh, I think made my uh, answers this uh, challenges related to PVC we have nowadays. Uh, what is the background here? Uh, the most uh, common uh, plastics used in this application is PVC, uh, plasticized and uh, also. Uh, but also with very good breathable properties. So this is the background I was there is so far. There was so far no other solution which was uh, presented in this area. Uh, but we know and we feel from European Union and also from specific countries like France or UK that the PV there is a really huge discussion already around this, this topic and uh, it's uh, coming more and more uh, hot, I would say, uh, on European level. PVC foil is under low and social pressure due to the content of plasticizers and uh, due to this fact uh, and uh, to the fact of the content of chloride, and uh, the recyclability is quite uh, challenging uh, for this uh, area. And what we developed with one Italian group, and I can say that this is the fabric group because this was already published and this is our strategic partner in, in this area, uh, is a plasticizer free alternative uh, for PVC foil with uh, very uh, similar almost i think this is when when we did this comparison with uh, uh, in regards of breathability and and the properties uh, are very similar to pvc solution uh, this alternative to polyethylene uh, which is lacking a specific performance of characteristics um, what is important here this is really uh, it can uh, be used in food area for packaging where the cling film is needed. It's a very transparent, it's certified with compost. This is certified compostable film. film. It's a good, uh, very good anti fog performance. So uh, the properties, as I mentioned, are very good. And uh, on the PVC level, uh, we would say it's a complete solution possible and consisting compostable film and try and level so everything is there and what we are doing now we are doing a kind of launch on in, in europe 
of, of this uh, product also in Poland. We are talking to value chain of food packaging companies, fresh food transporting companies. So we are now establishing the value chain and defining the key stakeholders. We will uh, tackle this topic and tackle uh, this uh, solution. So basically, this is it from my side. Um, if you have uh, the questions, uh, you can uh, write them because uh, what I'm challenging now is something what I couldn't uh, uh, fight with my computer. I do not hear you, but I, I hope you heard me uh, while my presentation. I see one comment here from, uh, let me uh, read it. So if you have questions, you can uh, please write them in the chat because otherwise I won't be able to hear you, uh, unfortunately. Several large customers have banned the user. Okay. This PLA, first comment from Mr. Martin is uh, this PLA. Uh, several large customers have banned the use of raw material derived from the raw materials used in food production, such as corn. As PLA is present in material, how does it material fit with the above and to what is the wider market response to this material? Uh, well, uh, in our solution, PLA is uh, does exist, and is it's uh, corn? It is uh, derived from corn starch as well. Uh, so far, we had only good experience with stakeholders. We talked to about the solutions where we implemented it, uh, and why we decided to use PLA and not starch itself. It. Uh, it gives uh, the better uh, properties and better stability. And uh, I read about this, that there is some issue. And this is also the question and uh, the bigger discussion on uh, uh, bio-based materials or bio uh bio base for materials like natural oil if we should use them to to produce packaging or other products solvents and uh, i don't know what is uh, uh what is uh, what is possible to produce but everything is everything might be possible in the future but this is wider discussion here but we use pla but so far only good experience with our stakeholders who should could we buy Clinkfield? Clinkfield, there is a direct uh, company, Fabri Group. I mentioned it in the in the slide here. This is this is this, this is our strategic partner uh, here. We have joint patent for this solution, and this is the right uh, content. This is the right uh, company which is involved in this in this area. But also our recommendation is to use this skin film uh, in a food area. Is it possible? Or it is possible, of course, to use it in industrial applications. However, uh, we question uh, it. Uh, um, the usage in industrial applications, how to uh, then compost it if it's contaminated with uh, other uh, things. How about publish LTA results of its packaging? Uh, yes, yes, we have, uh, we, let's say, uh, LCA long life cycle assessment is uh, published for the granulate and uh, life cycle assessment is also i think it's it's containing the applications as well but life cycle assessment is available of course so i think i can finish now Yes, I'm not seeing uh, any other questions. Let's just maybe wait for um, one more minute. Yeah. To see if there are like any additional questions. But yeah, uh, thank you, thank you very much for this for this very interesting presentation.
Thank you very much for your for your attention and time and having me in your conference. Thank you. Thank you so much then. Uh, and uh, yeah, so right now uh, we have our scheduled break uh, until uh, quarter past 11. So on quarter past 11, we start our next uh, next presentation. And this presentation is going to be about our uh, pilot actions. Uh, oh, uh, I see that there is like one additional question that happened just now. I don't know if Agatha can hear us or see the question. I will just write in a message. I didn't unmute my phone and I started to answer this question and apparently you didn't hear it. Sorry. Uh, anyway, adhesives of course if it's if adhesive is needed it should be also biodegradable and compostable and this solution also exists within BASF and basically what is worth mentioning that for uh, for the packaging and for all those uh, uh, technological aspects needed to complete for instance uh, a flexible packaging or to to make it uh, with color uh, the solutions do exist so master batches which are biodegradable with biodegradable pigments and also adhesives compostable also do exist and uh, we develop such applications and this is this kind of cross divisional cooperation within BASF so we think about this uh, in in complexity. Okay, the main contact uh, for sales in Poland it's myself, and who is producing the glue. Let's, uh, if you could contact me, I think the organizers organizers of this conference have my contacts, and we can discuss it separately. Yes, we do, Helena. We will. Uh, uh, we will please, make this contact for you. Please uh, do share my contacts. We will. Okay, great. Thank you very much, then. Uh, if, uh, um, if you have any, any additional questions, uh, be sure to leave them here uh, and uh, we, can, uh, we can contact uh, Agatha directly and contact uh, Agatha to you. Uh, but now, uh, right now, uh, let's, have a, let's have a short coffee break uh, and we see each other again uh, quarter past 11. Thanks. <laughs>